I'm so tired of scammed, likely phone calls. How many warranties could we possibly have? I mean, how many vehicles? We only have two cars. They must think that we're- And one of them already has a warranty on it. Running a dealership. <laughs> Don't you love it though, when it's not just a scam likely, but they have a name? Yeah. It's They're like getting Jimmy smart. John. Like, let's, let's, let's give ourselves a name. I've been getting a lot from somebody called DJ, like DJ so-and-so. I'm like, <laughs> this guy sounds cool. I may pick up the call. Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 113, and this is take four. <laughs> I'm Rachel. <laughs> and I'm Joe. And we are two, two crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome. If you're new here, say hi down below. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. And we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to I it. I can't get used to your new intro. I know. Well, and I get distracted by the fact that your hoodie makes you look like a monk. I just can't get past it. How do I look like a monk? I'm wearing a hoodie. I love hoodies. Okay, this is the premiere, so we're in the live chat. Right. If you also think that Joe looks a tad bit monk-like, type down in the comments, because that's what I'm saying. Joe looks like a monk a little. <laughs> Question mark? If you are new to our channel, welcome to Keto on the Couch. Keto on the Couch is all about our subscribers. We like to celebrate your wins, your losses, our wins, and our losses. We're not celebrating their losses. Well, talk about them. Encourage you to have better times. Keep going. Right, because the whole focus of our channel is to be that support system, right? And so we like to celebrate your wins and inspire people and talk about issues that may be coming up and keep recording this over and over again. We, I feel like we could play a drinking game at this point. Well, we'd be dead <laughs> if that was the case. <laughs> Let's talk about our week, because it was miserable. Miserable? It was miserable. Why was it miserable? Because you ate eggs? Because I ate eggs. I love eggs. You eat eggs every day, just about. Yeah, but I don't have to only eat eggs. And I can have other delicious stuff with my eggs, like I... hamburger and brisket and eggs with bacon and eggs on top of burgers. I feel like that this has brought up something that maybe you need to work through, which is, I don't like being told what to do. Was this how you were as a child? No, I just don't want to have to eat three dozen eggs a day. Well, I've enjoyed it. Well... You can eat the same thing over and over again. You I proved can. that. Two years, you ate oatmeal, nothing but oatmeal for two years. It wasn't You're good great. with that. Well, I'm not good with that. Here's the thing. I'm good for a two to three days maximum. I wasn't good with it. <laughs> I thought that that was the only way that I could maintain any weight loss was to starve myself and eat the most bland thing possible. And it turns out- Eggs. <laughs> no, eggs are not bland at all. It actually Just turns out that on that bland diet, you can actually gain weight. I proved it by gaining 70 pounds. <laughs> Good job, Rachel. Now, if you're new to our channel, and you're watching this on Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern time, go ahead down below in the chat after you hit the like button. Make sure you do that first. That's really important. Also, if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button because it's the only thing in life that's like super free. It's completely free to watch these two knuckleheads like come live all the time. Accurate. So uh, we're live in the chat on Mondays at 10 a.m. when this launches. So I know it confuses people. It's a pre-recorded video. But we are live We're here. in the chat. Watching it. And it allows us to interact with you. But other people have asked us, like, what's up with your live stream? So here's the way it works. We do the live premiere, so pre-recorded video with live chat on Mondays. On Thursdays, 8.30 p.m. Eastern time, we We're go live, live on our YouTube channel. We're in now now. Then 
at least once a month, we go do a live stream for our Patreons, which we just had that a little yes. while ago. That was really awesome. We love getting to hang out with our Patreons. And if you don't know what Patreon is, that is a way that some people want to go ahead and support us a little bit. This is not our full-time gig. It takes a lot of money to like run cameras and have internet that like can shoot a rocket to the moon and stuff. And buy hoodies. And buy hoodies like and make this me look one? like a monk. Yes. Yeah. So um we do that at least once a month. We just kind of get to hang out, play games, talk to them a little bit more personally because there's only a few of them. And then every once in a while, we just decide, hey, let's go live. Like on a 3,000 mile drive, Rachel goes live for two hours in our Facebook group. Well, I couldn't stand it anymore. I was so <laughs> excited about what we were about to go do, go get to see your mom, that I just wanted to share it. Right. Sometimes things are just so beautiful, you need to share it. Yeah, like, but not eggs. He's not going to get past this. I'm not going to get past this. This is eggs, eggs he, discussion for life. So we, we did. Two years from now. We did five days of eggs. Yes. And people keep asking, why are we doing five days of eggs? Because we came home and we had seven dozen eggs. Now, in the past, seven dozen eggs was more than enough to get us through like a week. Like, okay, we could have done easily the normal three-day egg fast. But we don't eat like we used to. So Rachel's like, no, 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 we're only going to do eggs. And you can't have a whole bunch of fat and cheese like you did last time. That resulted in me needing to eat three dozen eggs a day and her eggs, eating two dozen eggs. Eggs, eggs. So we could have finished Nothing our egg challenge on the first eggs, day, but no, we eggs, did five days. Eggs. Good news is that I dropped four pounds. Hello. <laughs> and you're like, but at what cost? At what cost? At what cost did these four pounds come? So, so the repayment to Rachel was I got to choose what she's eating today. And I don't have to tell her what it is. I'm still curious. <laughs> when are you going to tell me when it's in front of me? Yeah, when we're done with this and it comes in front of you, then you know what you're eating. If you did a food-only challenge for a week, what would you want your first meal coming out of it to be? That's what I'm going to ask in the chat. <laughs> yeah, but you're getting an awesome meal for Mother's Day. And I'm curious... What are y'all doing for Mother's Day? Let us know down in the comment section. Are you going to hang out with mom? Are you making everybody take care of you if you are a mom? Take care of me. Well, like serve you, like make you food. Isn't that what isn't that what you normally are supposed to do on Mother's Day? Or is I it on Mother's Day hugs. everybody gets together I just want and then mom all still does all the cooking? Of the cuddles. Like you're not doing all the cooking. Yeah, but for I don't mom's cook day. on a normal day. <laughs> Every day is Mother's Day. Did you day. tell the kids what you want for Mother's Day? Did you I, give him the normal spiel? Yes. I don't. Well, now it's okay. One of, one of with, them are married. With one of them. Yeah. It was okay. always like nobody on drugs. Right. Nobody in jail. Right. And nobody getting anybody pregnant. Well, I would hope that the third one, like, so still not on drugs, still yes. not in jail. Like, but yeah. pregnant is okay. Oh, well, two still apply to him. Yeah. So two to apply to him. But yeah. the, other, the other two, like they have three. All, rules, all three. And that's all you want. Right. Well, yeah. And the kids are always like, you ask for that every year. Well, we want that every year. <laughs> <laughs> what else did you actually authentically want for Mother's Day? Because I feel like we should get the message out there. What do you actually want for Mother's Day? What do you actually want for Father's Day? So that everybody isn't getting just like a I, stuffed animal. Okay, so for all the dads. A cut flower that we can't use. Like what, what can we get? What do you want? I can answer the question for all the dads. Okay. But before I do. What does the dad want? Before, let me wait Curious. a second. Before I do, I do want to say, so Anthony comes to me, he goes, I'm going to go get mommy flowers because I think she really does like flowers. I mean, she does not like flowers. He's like, I really think plant she likes em. flowers. I'm like, if you want to get her a plant, yeah. that's one thing. But don't buy her flowers. She's going to tell you it's a waste of money. Because that's a luxury He's like, she's never going to tell me it's a waste of money. I'm like, she's going to tell you it's a waste of money because they die in a week and she'd rather have like a plant and if you really know what she wants she just wants coffee and she wants you guys to like be coffee. home with her i want cuddles and you're getting that i right? want all so the snuggles we're gonna have all three of the boys in the house with our daughter-in-law yes and we're having a family barbecue daughter and our daughter yeah and we're having a family barbecue and i have to do all the cooking well i'll do all the cooking for father's day i got you uh, please don't we're having eggs <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. Please don't. I uh, want to eat on Father's Day. What does a father actually want for Father's Day from his children? Do you really want to know? Do you want you you're saying you don't want old spice cologne? No, I'm gonna tell you what you don't want as body spray. Typically, here's what most dads want a on belt, Father's Day. A wallet. No. Here's what most dads want. Handkerchiefs. They want to play golf and be left alone. Do you want to play golf? 
I used to love golf. It just got too expensive. Would you even know Along what ends of the, the club to hold? Yes, I was a very good golfer. I was a very good golfer. Well, you're good I used to play golf. golf every day when the kids were little. Your putt-putt golf is not... I was putting was always my bad. Reflecting part. that, I, we have, how many times have we done that? Three times since we've been married, and it hasn't been good. <laughs> I used to love golf. It just it's way too expensive during the winter here, and during the summer it's too hot to go golfing. It's just way it's it's been ridiculously hot here all week. It's been like almost a hundred degrees every day. You know what I'm reminded of though, right? By golf, what balls. So balls was one of the challenges this week. Yes. If people are participating in the May in Motion, Stay in Motion Challenge. That was a good segue. Thank you very much. Balls is always a good segue. You you want a segue for anything. Balls. That's this the is answer. Not There's no script for keto that's on the couch. That's the answer. Okay. So part of, and here's the thing. You don't have to do the day's challenge on that day. Right. Okay. So like our balls challenge is happening on Mother's Day because Tabitha and the grand puppy is also coming over to the house. Right. And it is all about balls and throwing balls for them. I don't know. I, all I know is this. I'm having to do a lot of work for Mother's Day. You are. Like a week before. Mm -hmm. Now I found out that people keep tearing my screens. So I got to go out and fix all my screens. So here's what happens. We ha are getting a, a cement pond. I love a cement when you say slab. Can you say that again? A cement pond. Cement. I like it when you say that. You don't cement. say cement? No, cement. Cement. Or concrete. Cement. <laughs> it's cement. So we're going to cement slab put down so that... At <laughs> so that Eleanor has a better, you know, in and out right. through our driveway. Right. And so we have to relocate the chickens because the chickens want to be- Have free run in the backyard. Well, and they, they're they too friendly. They're too friendly for chickens. And we had to take down the gate. So they want to be all up in the guy's business that are just trying to work. They don't want to work with a chicken and hugging a chicken. So they, they shouldn't have to do that. So did to the door today and say, hey, the chickens are out? How did you know they were parkouring the gate and stuff? Well, I came out and was watching. Oh, okay. Like, you know what I mean? Because he had called me at one point when I tried to call him back. It's a lot he didn't of chickens answer. playing back here. No, I, I just, I went outside. It was like, you know, giving him a treat and stuff. And, um... We have put up obstacles. I mean, it's almost comical. There's like a garbage can and a fence and all of these things, a tire. We thought we had it handled. Right. And they are like parkour. And they're just like running up and and suddenly becoming super athletic chicks. Right. Going over because they just want to get to the, the guys. Now we know what's on the other side. They're like, <laughs> those guys working with their strong muscles. I want to be around them. Those flirty birds that must be what it is they're just trying to get to those guys well here's the funny part is that when the guys were all done and they left i moved the gate so now, they can come out now not they don't interested. want to come on the side nothing to see just me and just me and you here to see now yeah they don't want to hang out with us they want to hang out with them so New do you want to know what we're having for mother's day chicken no, no, no. <laughs> Here's what happened. So I put the call out to all the boys. What do you want? Bat signal. Figuring all my kids want the same thing. I know my boys pretty well. They all Obviously want. Obviously, you don't. I. They do. They want barbecue. They want baby back ribs. I knew. I all three of them want baby, baby, back, baby back ribs. Baby back ribs. Rachel doesn't like pork baby back ribs. I don't. Rachel wants beef ribs. I mean, I will eat it. I will be like, thank you for right. this. Yep. But there is something about pork ribs lately that just messes with my tum tum. Bacon, we're we're fine. It's kind of like the same area of the pig. I I know, but I don't understand it. Does anybody else have problem with pork ribs and have no problem with bacon? Somebody's gonna say yes. Me too. <laughs> so Rachel wants beef, beef ribs. ribs. The boys want pork ribs, and then Anthony goes, "You know what I really want?" I'm like, "It's Mother's Day, not Son's Day." He's like, "What I really want?" <laughs> he doesn't care because you do want all the boys together. And what would really get me to make oh, sure I'm there? Wow, is brisket. He totally like, flipped the guilt trip. Yeah, he did. That's supposed to be our move. I know, not the kids' move. So he's like, "I want brisket." I'm like, "Okay." Because I love brisket. And her daughter. And mommy loves brisket. Likes chicken. And yeah. And so she wants chicken. So now I went from simple barbecue to I've got to make a brisket and beef ribs and pork baby back ribs. Oh, and one of them wants one spare ribs. Back. 
Baby and death. chicken breasts all in one smoker all to finish at rip. the same time but thankfully we have the two crazy kiddos family and on our live stream we were able to talk to pit masters in our group and i think we have it kind of lined up as far as the the order of service for the barbecue and the fact that i have to get up at four o'clock in the morning which i'm not really keen on only because i love you thank you i appreciate <laughs> that we got we got some mail. I like how you f act like you're not going to eat this too. Are you not eating this? The cook never eats. The the, the cook will eat later on. Bologna, salami, salami. We got bologna. We got mail. Yeah, we did. Wow, and it's got hearts on it. This is from. Wow. Deliza. Deliza. Happy anniversary. Wishing you adventurous years together. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh my gracious, yes, on the 15th. Yep. Thank you. 14 long no. years. No. I'm just kidding. They've been blissful. They've been, they've been awesome years. They've been flavorful. Aw, oh, man. She's got me. <gasps> oh, oh, those are cool. Oh my gracious. Oh, no, 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 no. Those are cool. Wait, they are infinitely more cooler than you even can imagine. Oh, first of all, I like the spoon, which is going to aggravate Caleb. Look at this. They're kissy faces. Okay. Oh, those that. are awesome. <laughs> okay, we actually the have a set of mugs up. I probably won't throw out just because those are really cool. Oh I don't even gosh. think we're going to use those. That is the sweetest thing ever. I don't even think we're using these. Bless your heart. Thank you so much. And, and look, the red, the red matches the red. Mm. And the white matches the white. Right? I the love pale. this so hard. The, Thank you so much. That's got to go back there. Wow. Those are really cool. We can't yes. use those. No, but you're going to see them because they're they're getting a, a place of honor. That is awesome. What are you putting them back in there for? Well, I don't want them to get hurt. From here what? to there? No. Have you, You've you met me, right? You've been, oh my goodness. You've been married for, to me for so long. You don't realize that I can drop stuff like, just like that. That's true. Okay. Put that away. I'm trying. Oh, it's upside down. We gotta pick the winner for the keto crate. Keto crate. Are you ready? I'm ready. I already got it pulled Was up. Born ready. Um, Friar Joe. <laughs> ready? Pick a winner. Pick a winner. Fetch. Anything goes. How many people want to try a keto crate? 178 unique comments. The winner, and the winner is, is D, D Forkum. So, what was the brand of that cereal? I don't remember. Oh, we ate it all. We did eat it all. Wait, I actually looked it up for for. Um, we'll just put it down. We'll put it down here on the screen. Okay, I was gonna say. Plus, I, she's gonna find out because she's gonna have the keto box. Oh, that's right. Because I because I, I need to order some of that stuff because it was delicious. I it was snack house. Snack house. Because Shauna asked me too. That stuff was delicious. It was really good. It was really good. I need to order some of that. It was good. So here's what you need to do. You need to send me an email a Joe. At twocrazyketos.com, I need your name, obviously, your shipping address, and I need your email address that you want Keto Crate to have on file, and they are going to mail you out a Keto Crate. Now, the faster you get this to me, the better the chance that you're going to get this box and not next month's box. Sometimes people get it back to us too late. What are you doing? That's my bionic. Like, fast. <laughs> Sometimes people get back to us a little bit too late and you end up getting the next month's box. We don't have any control of that. It's we know whatever this one they have is good. Left. I don't know about next month yeah, yet. So that's what you need to do. Congratulations. Good job. You want to go ahead and take a quick commercial break and then we will come back with comments? As you wish, Father. Look at our kissy mugs. <laughs> we put the mugs up. Aren't they cute? They got back there already. They're you know so why? adorable. Because I had to get stuff off there because... We have a sponsor for today. Yes, thank you, Perfect Keto. So Perfect Keto is sponsoring today's episode of Keto on the Couch. And if you don't know what Perfect Keto is, they are a keto nutrition company and they have some delicious products like collagen. Peanut butter is the best one. I know, um, strawberry. Do you like the strawberry? Cinnamon toast. They have MCT powder. They have some delicious cookies, some delicious bars. They do have, a, uh, as I drop it, electrolytes. This is the pink lemonade one, really good. They also sell ketones, and we always like to tell you, ketones are really good. They're gonna give you some energy, they're gonna give you some mental focus, but they are not going to help you lose weight any faster. But if you need that cognitive function, if you need that little bit of boost of energy before doing a workout or something like that, that's where you're gonna jump into their base. Do and 
have any Nola bars left. This is it. This is the end of the my last stash. Two. <laughs> they have this delicious new product. Unfortunately, these are sold out already. And they were so I wanted good. to order them. And I said, oh, I'll order them on Friday. They, they got them back wah, in stock wah. on Tuesday. And gone again. I went to order them today. They're gone. So these peanut butter ones, these taste like paydays. Yeah, they do. And uh, these here, which is coconut chocolate chip, kind of like an Almond Joy or a Mounds. Yeah, that's really, how I would really, describe I them. I did order a couple of boxes of these. They're really good. I don't Very, eat them every day, like but they are chewy. a nice little treat. Yeah. Good clean ingredients. We really enjoy them. So you can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos. That's going to get you some money off. Perfect Keto is a huge supporter of our channel, so we greatly appreciate you guys for supporting the sponsors who support 2 Crazy Ketos. I think that they're the perfect road trip snack. These, oh my gosh, they yeah. were awesome on our road trip. Those right? and Keto Bricks are really good for travel. They better have these in stock by the time we do a 16 <laughs> hour drive to Keto Palooza. Or you won't make it. I'm not going to make it. I need these for that road trip. We need them. 15 hours. So let's get into our comments. So the first thing we have, if you're new to us, is we like to just pick somebody who's doing something inspiring. It's hard. Because, yeah. To pick one. It is. Because we have such an awesome group. You guys are group, incredible. Both on our YouTube us channel, over on our Instagram, active in our Facebook family group. But this one this week, I actually, I'm celebrating both of them, but really I'm celebrating one half of them. Okay. But they're both awesome. All right, let's find out. Okay, but I only have a slide from one person because he doesn't actually post. All right. And that is Stephanie and oh, Jimmy. Oh, good. So Stephanie put, happy Monday 2KK family. Whether you're in this month's challenge or not, remember, we all had to start somewhere on the stairway to better health. Never stop. Just keep climbing. And before you know it, it will you will conquer those steps. Oh, my now, goodness. Now, I'm putting this up here because Stephanie's the one who has the YouTube channel. And Stephanie's the one who does most of the posting. But her hubby, Jimmy, is the most inspiring person that I have seen. I mean, oh, my gosh. You guys are all inspiring. But I was in tears yeah as he was climbing up jacob's ladder over there in texas a guy who could barely move and walk a few months ago and he didn't give up and he got up those steps so incredible that is a power couple they're doing the may in motion stay in motion challenge and they're videoing and they're posting every day their activities that they're doing and like I, they're having so many wins in their personal life and doing it together as a couple, mm -hmm. I think is just so romantic, yeah. honestly. Today, Steph actually posted that she reached the six mile mark on her walking. That's awesome. Which is incredible. Just Wonder Woman and Superman over there. That's awesome. And I just want to say, all of you guys are inspiring. I mean, people say to us, like, how do you keep going? Because you guys you inspire guys. us. Like, believe me, if... if if it wasn't for you guys supporting us, watching us, you guys posting your wins and your achievements and everything that's happening positively in your life, I wouldn't do this. It's too hard. But no. you keep us going because it's just like, oh my gosh, like look look at these wins. Look at this life change that's happening. And I just want to keep seeing it and being a part of it. I cannot wait to get up every single morning and see what you guys are doing. I mean, you're posting how far you're walking across the grocery store parking lot, how you're playing with your grandkids and how you're, you know, trying new athletic endeavors. You're joining gyms. I mean, you're doing all kinds of things and we are so inspired. It just, it's really given us new life. Yep. Now we have our subscriber of the week. We actually have two of them this week because I couldn't pick. <laughs> so That's the okay. first one is Faith. Hey, Faith. Faith said the scale is the devil for sure. Amen. I've been doing keto for about four weeks. Pounds haven't moved much. I started this journey at 228 and current weight is 221, which is actually really awesome. Really for four good. weeks, seven Seriously. pounds. She's like, but I've lost 11 inches. Wow. I didn't start to measure until was suggested to do so. The 11 inches is from the last two weeks. Wow. So who knows how much more she lost. Feeling so much better and I'm able to walk without hurting. I'm getting stronger and healthier every day. Take a look at this picture. Faith. Look at her face. 
Oh like, my god! Look at gosh. the slimming down in the face, the slimming down in her abdomen, and that is just Amazing. four weeks. Amazing! Oh is my that gosh! Awesome. Okay, so I am so jealous that she had started this and she's wearing the same shirt and she's early on doing measurements because you are going to celebrate so much success that I feel like just slipped through our fingers yes. and we didn't get to celebrate because we didn't start measuring until so late in the game. So right. I am, I want to hear every single week. I am just cheering you on, girl. I cannot wait to see what you continue to do. That is so awesome. We had to take a break. Our chickens were escaping. <laughs> and they were in the front yard talking to the neighbors. I mean, it was it's great that they're super friendly, but like, yeah, we got a knock on the door from a neighbor going like, um, the chickens are out. They're out. Well, what happened was is the guy who's doing our concrete had to raise the gate because we're putting a six inch slab. And right like, under. I had everything propped and I guess the wind kind of blew it over and they I just went you, right underneath. They're parkour. They're parkouring out there. Parkour. Okay, so the next one is from Sabrina. Hey, Sabrina. I said, hi, Joe and Rachel. These pictures are from June 2016 to May 6, 2021. Today at the Purdy Key Beach. I've struggled with my weight since having my children 38 years ago and I started keto in September of 2017 after my NP suggested it. Oh, awesome. Uh, my blood work showed I was pre-diabetic. I've lost over 50 pounds off of most of my prescription Yay. meds and I feel better at 61 than I did at 40. Ooh. This way of eating has been a lifesaver both me and my husband. He's lost over 60 pounds. Wow. We're both retired and have so much energy to do the things we like to do, including living the camping lifestyle Yay. in our 2019 38 foot sprinter fifth wheel nice you were both such an inspiration to helping me stay on track with great recipes i have no plans to eat any other way for the rest of my days thank you so much for your inspiration to all of for, from all of us who watch and oh. listen to you sabrina <laughs> look at that hot beach body girl wow what a wow. difference you look awesome and i love that you are retirement age because this is what retiring was supposed to look like. Right. This is how we were Enjoying supposed to, it. Right. We're not supposed to work and then get like more tired and more exhausted and then just like, you know, not enjoy our golden years. They're supposed to be golden, like out in the sun on the beach. Well, I'm seeing the grandbaby days. There. And the fact that you're going to have so much more energy to be with your grandchildren and just enjoy them and that's that's what makes us so awesome i love it you look good okay so really let's good. get into the comments now and the first comment is from shelly hey shelly she says y'all are so cute and perfect i love when rachel says something that flabbergasts joe i think that like her whole mission is like how much can i make his jaw drop i do have a phd in embarrassing you <laughs> i think the thing is, though, if I say anything, like, even close to what she does, oh, I yeah. get yelled at. No, it's a one-way blushing road we're on. <laughs> okay, next one is from Margie. Hey, Margie. She says, thank you for being you, for sharing your joys, your sorrows, your challenges, and your success. You are a true inspiration. Margie, thank you so much for, for just liking us for us. Yeah. I mean, people say things like, I don't know if you guys are real. It's too hard to not be real. Oh my gosh, we're, it's we're, exhausting. We're certainly not perfect and we're going to tell you when we're screwing up and we're, we're hey, man boobs now, right? So we're, we're going to tell you like when we're not doing well, we're going to tell you when we're doing well, we're going to celebrate our wins, we're going to discuss our losses. Yeah. And, you know, that's just how we are. So we appreciate you guys for still following us, even though we're not perfect. And we're never will be. Never. Okay, next one is from Bruce. Hey, Bruce. As a true Mainer, I am a trained lobster eater. Always save the claws till last. I do not been, like lobster. I have been doing it wrong. Because here... That well, I know enough about lobster to know that the claw would is the best part. So why wouldn't you be waiting to the end? But I don't do that. I blow through the best part and then like you're then left... Like, yeah. You're left picking at like the, the head cheese. No, that's... I do it wrong because I get excited about the best part. Save the best for last. Next one is from Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda. Rhonda says, reviewing people's macros for them at no charge is such a service. Aww. I really appreciate everything you do. Well, thanks for letting us be a part of this journey. And, you know, we can screw things up. We're certainly yep. not doctors, not nurses, not health yeah. professionals. Now, I do want to say, like, we, we'll tell people, like, hey, you know, if you message us, you know, we'll try to help. Sometimes... 
it may take us a couple weeks to get back. We do get a lot of emails, not just for Two Crazy Ketos, but also with our personal life. I mean, I probably like have to delete 200 to 300 spams every few hours. I'm, I don't even know where they all come from. Well, I'm very busy. They're selling me warranties. Well, Joanne Fabrics. Joanne Fabrics takes up a lot, lot of, of my time. Next one is from Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Your mom was so happy to see you both. There is no way I could eat just eggs. Neither can Joe, apparently. <laughs> I have a hard time eating them a few times a week. Good luck on that. By the way, I had steak and eggs for breakfast. Thanks or a lot. This morning. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Actually, I am not a big steak and eggs eater. I've never, I've never understood the whole steak and eggs thing. Uh, I want bacon and eggs. It's funny. Ham and eggs. Sausage and eggs. We never grew up doing breakfast for dinner very right. much. So oh, we did. So I usually think of eggs. And steak is like steak is dinner and breakfast and eggs is breakfast. And I know it's weird because we eat eggs and hamburger a lot, mm -hmm. but there's something so definitely dinner about steak. Right. I know I'm wrong on this because we've eaten it, but like in my mind, steak and eggs is only some, is a pipe dream of Pollyanna. <laughs> Remember that movie, Pollyanna? She always wanted to eat steak and eggs. No, it was steak and ice cream. Steak and ice cream. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one is from Jesse and Melissa. Hey, guys. And said, I am so looking forward to hearing about your egg fast now. Poor Joe. Did you die? No, I didn't die. You did not die. No. You lived through this. But we're not going to eat eggs for a while. Did you wish it was like a beef and butter? No. Okay. No. I I, I don't want to eat the same of anything. Are you afraid to anything. say yes? I don't want to eat the okay. same of anything. I, I don't want to eat brisket for seven days Could in a row. Could be a sardines and tuna only. I'm definitely not eating that for seven days in a row what, or five days in a row. What keto food, what keto friendly food would still be too much if you had to eat it all the time? There's, I mean, I know for you is everything. Everything. I, but what I, about I need, you? I need to switch it up a little bit. Okay. Three times a week, good. Every other day, good. But like, I need to switch it up a little bit. I feel like... A lot of people have a real wall to eggs. Like there's a there's a breaking point for eggs. Right. That where I think if people just keep having it, keep having it, they, they get to the point where like I can't eat another egg. Mm -hmm. I never feel that way about ground beef. Do you ever feel that way ground about beef? Ground beef is so versatile. You can do so much more with ground beef. I've never hit a ground beef wall before. Especially because we were allowed condiments. So you can really do a lot more with ground beef, right? You can make yeah. it into a chili. You can make it into a sloppy joe. You can make it into a hamburger. You know, creamy ground beef and cheese, I'm good because I can make meatloaf and because I have spices. Isn't that so funny? I can make all these different but things. But it's the same but thing. But eggs, no. Scrambled, hard boiled, or fried. I think that's, that's hilarious. Much it. Uh, next one is from Jennifer Loves Groot and Grogu. Oh my gosh, I love them too, Jennifer. Said laughing so hard at the egg fast is a great idea, up and to the point when everybody starts getting the egg farts. Oh. We Good luck, does. people. Make sure you have lots of air freshener handy. Oh, that's hilarious. Just kidding. You guys are great, and you always make me laugh, and it's actually a great idea. Super friendly on a budget. You know, I didn't even think about it from a budget perspective, but 79 you're right. 79 cents a dozen. Yes, you can get them at Aldi, like mega, ultra, super cheap. Right. Because we usually say either get the fancy pants ones or just get regular because everything in the middle is just an advertising scheme. Right. So like, yeah, go and get the Aldi's eggs if you're on a budget. Yeah. Absolutely. You think about it, like $2.50 a day, you can get 200 grams of protein. Hello? 200 grams of protein. Hello? All you need is 36 eggs. Success calling, <laughs> wallet happy. Next one is from Melissa. Hey, Melissa. So she says, love Joe's Bucky shirt. How did you like Bucky's? It's always a must stop on our vacations. This was we our first get, time. We could get lost in there. This was our first time visiting it. And it was like a Cracker Barrel and Kirkland's had a baby in the middle of a grocery store. I, I mean, talk about like going into a store for one thing and coming out like with... Like we came out with $150 worth of stuff. How do we go to a gas station and spend $150 and not on fuel? And P.S. It was like during that beautiful birth right. that um, Bass Pro Shops, the uncle, came right. and visited as well. Because there was plenty of like salt life themed things too. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So much in one place. <sighs> Next one is from Andy. Hey, Andy. Said, my story, being super transparent here. 
at the age of 49, am having borderline high glucose numbers during doctor blood draws. Wanting to head this off quickly, but with decades of yo-yo diets, weight up and down, and ED issues, hardcore keto is daunting and scares me that I will go back to my eating disorder issues. So lowering carbs, upping protein, watching videos, incorporating keto chow for breakfast, and some perfect keto items to get me going. I'm trying to give myself grace, knowing I'm still eating a lot of carbs, and I'm not yet doing any tracking or counting, but I am focused now on my health, trying harder each day to make this about a lifestyle, not a diet. It's not easy, but God is good all the time. I love your positive attitude and love of the Lord. I am so glad that you're here. And I am so glad that you are prioritizing your health because that's what it's all about. Just switching over from the way you were eating and even saying, I'm going to give this a real shot and sticking with it is pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. That is a big deal. That is a big thing to do. And especially to say like, I'm gonna change my ways at this age. It doesn't matter how long I've been doing life in this direction, I'm gonna change directions right now for me. And I think that is awesome. Mm -hmm. Just super awesome. I mean, the thing is, is that if you're eating 30% better than you were before, then you're better off. And that is one of the reasons that we do do reviews on like different types of keto products and things like that. Because see, if you would have come to me four years ago when I first started and said, you're never having a piece of bread again, you're never having sugar again, you're never gonna have pasta again, you're, there's, there is no replacement for having a piece of cake on your birthday. I would have been like, peace out, not, yeah. not doing this. Yeah. But knowing that there were some alternatives, now there were no products really on the market, but there was lots of homemade stuff. There were mug cakes and there were keto breads and, and there were alternatives that I could do. And that's what got me through it. And it was a little change at a time. And that's why we tell people when you first get started, the first couple of weeks, you're just going to focus on one thing. Don't focus on macros and all that. It gets too complicated. It gets too daunting. Yeah. It's better focus on one thing. Try to eliminate the sugar. If you can do that and, and manage for a couple of weeks, even if you're eating 10 times more than you were before, and then you slowly work your way up. We didn't just start off eating like good, healthy oils. We didn't start off eating good, healthy eggs. We worked our way into that. So... Just take your time and just know that each step that you take is bettering your health. And then you're going to be at some point where you'll be like, this is how I want to be. And you don't have to worry about it. Well, and we hope that we can be a blessing to you as you're making this decision, just so that you're aware you are not alone in this. You are loved, you are precious, and you are just not alone. Because I feel like if you think you're alone in this and making all of these changes, Man, it's it's just too hard. Yeah. It's just too hard to do this by yourself. So you are not alone. Yep. With that, let's go ahead and take a quick commercial break and then we will come back with our Facebook comments. We checked on the chickens. They are still in their coop. <laughs> Cuz I'm not sure that they don't have like a lock pick back there and they're just getting out. All I know is Uh, you know, that delayed us by like 20, 30 minutes and the air conditioning is off. Otherwise it comes through the microphone and it's starting to get hot in here. Well, you're, you're in your priestly robes. Well, you, nobody wants to see me do this without my priestly robes on, right? I I do. You do? Okay. I do. Uh, next comment is from Kim. Hey Kim. So thanks for the awesome advice given on keto on the couch, tracking net and total carbs now. Awesome. Finding not all dairy is my friend. So far I've had to cut out yogurt altogether and heavy whipping cream is just one serving per day. And I've gotten out of my comfort zone and loving the May challenge. Kim, that blesses my heart so much. I'm glad that you're doing that. And I'm also glad that you are tuning in with your own body because Mm. I'm going to tell you right now, every single single person is different and the volume on different ingredients is different for everybody. Like I can 
have a, you know a couple pork rinds that have MSG in it. My mother cannot have one pork right. rind that has MSG in it. Otherwise, the next day she cannot even see out of her eyeballs. Right. Like every single person is different. For for us, we have learned that we share your sensitivity for heavy whipping cream. Yeah, we can do one to maybe two tablespoons. But we push that beyond that. If we try to do a keto child with just four ounces of heavy whipping cream, I'm gonna have a dairy baby yeah, we blow, in my stomach. We get all bloated and stuff. So everybody is different. You know. Even with yogurt, like I can't eat store bought yogurt. But if I do my own yogurt at home, where pretty much all of the sugar is out of it and there's no like gums or additives, I do fine with it. So everybody is different, and that's the whole thing. This is a journey, and you're doing awesome. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Debbie. Hey Debbie, today's workout up and down the driveway at my friend's house, getting the trash down to the end of the driveway for pickup tomorrow. Out the back screen porch, down the driveway multiple trips. I am loving this challenge this month with all of these different like it's creative ways you've come up with and seeing everybody post it in the Facebook group. Well, it's not even my creativity because all I've done is is giving you an open-ended challenge. Do something. And you guys have brought the creativity level of like, what does this mean to such an amazing stratosphere that I get like super excited to open up Facebook every single day. Well, I'm glad you said that because we have a few more here that I picked up. Awesome. Next one is from Jonah. Hey, Jonah. Said my Sunday big chore challenge was to stain my deck. Wow. Took me four hours, but I did it. How awesome is that? So you got your movement in and you got, got a, chore done. a stinking awesome chore done that you're going to enjoy the rest of the summer. Yep. Uh, there's another one from Lynette. Hey, Lynette. Said, Today, I stretched myself by running six sets of bleachers instead of the five what? that I've been doing. Two years ago, I could barely walk to the end of my driveway. I'm so happy to be taking oh. my life back. May in motion. Lynette, that... Okay, that made my day, right? <laughs> like, are these not awesome? This is what you guys can do. And I like the fact that you're sharing them because somebody is, Lynette, is right now at the point where they can't make it to the end of their driveway. Right. And they need to know that they're not the only person that has dealt with that and that there is light at the end of that tunnel and that light is not a train. Now, I think we have another one, but before we do, I just wanna remind you, Okay. do me a favor, go down, hit the like button on this video. Hit the subscribe button because it's free and why not? There's not many things that are free. And also hit that notification bell. That's the most important part because people want to know when we go live. Well, if you hit that notification bell, that's going to let you know They're that these again. two crazy people are live. And Rachel may just possibly say balls, balls. and you're never going to know when it comes out of her mouth. Come on. We all know I'm going to say it. So, okay. So the next one is from Kim. Hey, Kim. She says, for today's challenge, I stretched myself out of my comfort zone. Like I said on Saturday's post, I've lived here for three years and never walked for than my yard. So for today's challenge, I took another 30 minute walk, taking a different route and enjoying the beauty that is all around me. Didn't enjoy the hill as much, but thankfully coming down was a lot easier than going up. I love this so much and I love getting to know you. And how else are we gonna get to know you unless you're sharing things like this? Yeah, so please, if you're not a member of our Facebook group, go ahead and go join it. That's free too. And put up your story because your story is going to inspire people. Now I have to say, when I felt the same way Kim did when I was walking by your mom's house. Because here in South Florida, everything is flat. Yep. So, you know, you don't get that degree of, you know, difference. You can go to the garbage dump. You can, but like, why would you do that? <laughs> but, um, but anyway, so at your mom's house, yeah, going up in one of the directions, it was like just up, 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 up. But then coming home felt like such a victory lap because you were just going straight down <laughs> that it was just like, oh, I'm loving life. Uh, next one is from Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Jerry said, if you aren't a Patreon member of the Two Crazy Ketos, we did not tell him to write this. Oh, Jerry. Uh, you are missing amazing nuggets of love and brilliant insight. Rachel's word this morning is so freaking poignant. You are worthy of your own investment in yourself. Now, not when you've met a certain goal. Man, this totally hit me so hard this morning. I had felt so unworthy because I had let myself go and just would not be interested in investing in myself. Along comes Keto Chow into my life and then the Two Crazy Ketos family. Watch Autumn Keto and many others. All of the resources I watch pretty religiously, which is a huge investment in myself to push me to get to new goals. I thought were out of reach. 
I love my keto family here and love what I'm discovering about myself. Thank you to Chris, Miriam, Joe, Rachel, Autumn, Richard, and many others. Doing life with you all in my camp is such a blessing. Jerry, you are what makes this camp a blessing. Like, thank you so much for sharing that. That means so much because I am always preaching to myself mm -hmm. whenever I'm writing something. It's, it's definitely something that has been a challenge for me. And I always had a, a wrong belief in the past that I needed to get at least a few goals in, check a few boxes before I could start believing in myself. You know, I always thought of myself as a failure, a quitter, someone who wasn't going to be able to, to realize health goals. And so I thought, well, when I lose 25 pounds, that let's do that first and then i'll start cheering for myself then i'll start believing in myself but we can't do that right be the cheerleader right now right now where you're at you're worthy you're precious you're worth the investment i like you joe likes you you're not alone right now you don't have to do anything but just be there for for you to feel acceptance and to know that you matter and you're worth putting this time and effort into your life Okay, next one is from Janet. Hey, Janet. Janet said, I would like to learn how to eat keto. How do you do it? What is your daily plan? Uh, so we do have an entire playlist on how to get started on keto. Uh, but to briefly summarize it, I will put a link to that playlist right up here. To briefly summarize it, the first week or two, all we want you to do is eliminate the sugar the grains and the starches. Yeah. Right? So go in your cabinet. If it's got sugar, throw it out. If it's pasta, bread, throw it out. Don't eat it. If you're in a house where other people are not willing to do this, our suggestion is hide it. Put it way down on the bottom shelf where you're not going to normally go and put all of the stuff that you're going to eat eye line. at eye, eye level. Kind of like when you go to the grocery store. They put all of the name brands right at eye level. Why? Because that's what you see first. If you want the store brands, you got to go down to the bottom. So put all of like other people's foods down on the bottom so that you don't see them when you first open the cabinet. Yeah. For the first week or two, just don't eat sugar, grains, and car and you know carbs basically, any starches, anything like that. Eat all of the meat you want. Eat fat if you want to eat more fat. Eat some cruciferous vegetables. Just stay away from like the potatoes and the rice and stuff like that. And eat that way for a couple of weeks. No matter, don't even count calories or no. anything. And then just do it slowly. Pretty much, that's all you have to do. And then after that, you can start dialing in. You can get into the one to one that we talk about. But go ahead and check out that playlist. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Julie. Hey, Julie. She says, as far as what goes on the inside of your body and cells what is the difference between fasting where you skip breakfast or dinner and an alternate day fast where you skip food for a while um day and then have normal three meals the other day if you do one of these why would you choose it over the other um the biggest thing for why people choose one over the other is preference uh, what it comes down to, the best thing to do is go check out like Jason Fung's yeah. stuff on fasting. You can also go check, read some of Jimmy Moore's books, who has like got a lot of knowledge on fasting. I'll put links for some of that stuff down below in the description box. But it comes down to what are you trying to achieve? The longer you go without eating food, the more autophagy you get, which is the regenerating of your cells. You know, basically everybody fasts. So you're that's what breakfast is. It's breaking your fast. So from whatever you eat your last meal at night to when you eat your first meal, that is a fast. Mm -hmm. Some people want to stretch it because, again, you get more and more autophagy. If you're doing alternate day fasting, it's pretty much like you're going 24 to 36, sometimes 48 hours between eating. The key to that is, is when you do that and you're eating three meals on your eating day, you should be eating six meals worth, two days worth of food. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you're only eating one day's worth of food, now you're going to start slowing down your metabolism because see our body, it's really amazing. Super smart. It knows what to do when you give it like the right amount of food 
And it knows what to do when you don't give it any food. Yeah. But when you only give it a little bit of food, it starts going, oh, what do I do here? Should I keep going? Or like, am I not going to get enough food later? And so let me start slowing things down. It doesn't trust us very much. It really does. And our body keeps a record of wrongs, is what I've noticed. <laughs> right? But go ahead and check out some of the stuff from Jason Fung as well as Jimmy Moore. They've got a lot more knowledge on fasting than we do. They're awesome. Uh, next one is from Becky. Hey, Becky. She says, I started my journey in July 2020 and have lost 52 pounds. My labs just came back good. My question is, if you are using Chronometer, does the app change your macros or do you? And if so, when do you adjust them? Thanks. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. Don't let chronometer determine your macros. That's <laughs> number one. And don't ask the scale what kind of day you're going to have. Yeah, so here's what... None of those different apps out there, whether it be Chronometer or Carb Manager, they're, none of them are very good at determining what your macros should be. They're using percentages, which is not really the proper way to figure out your macros. They don't know us. You should be really, the best way to do your macros is do one to one, okay? Which again is pretty much like what Dr. Barry talks about where he says, eat as much as you want until you're comfortably full. But again, only eating certain things. It's not eating enough like as many perfect keto bars as you want. As it's much cheese as, as you can much, handle. It's eating as much, pretty much like meat, maybe some cruciferous vegetables, stuff like that, starting with the protein. Yeah. Eat as much of it as you want till you're comfortably full one or two times a day. Works out to be one to one because that's what most of your meats are going to be. Right. If you want to do that, check out our episode three of how to get started on keto. If you want to go the more traditional route and really look at calories, even though counting calories is really stupid, uh, go ahead and check out Maria Emmerich's calculator, who really also prioritizes protein and yeah. breaks it down if you're looking for those really traditional numbers. But again, she's doing the same thing. She is talking about making sure you're getting your protein in. And those are the only two ways that we really suggest that you are getting your calories in. This is not a high protein, low fat way of eating. No. This is still a high fat way of eating where you're eating between 65 to 75% of your calories from fat. It's just a different way of figuring out the numbers. So take one of those two ways and then go into chronometer and actually add your numbers in. Now, if you're following the one-to-one -one and basing your macros on what your ultimate dream goal weight is, you should never have to adjust anything. Well, yeah, that's true. And and just totally ignore calories. Yes. Because, because the calories, if you're doing it that way, the calories will scare you. Yeah, because we're just looking at protein and protein calories really don't matter because your body isn't using the protein for energy. So if you, if you just go that way with the one-to-one -one based on, again, your ultimate goal weight, that will be your homeostasis. So when you get to that goal weight, your body is just going to continue maintaining it. Yeah. It's kind of a weird way to look at it, but that's what that is. And then if you want to maybe gain weight or stop losing, if you find you're still losing weight, that's when you can increase the fat a little bit more because you've gotten rid of enough fat off of your body. Because remember, the fat is a rudder. Right. So the next one is from Teresa. Hey, Teresa. Said, non-scale victory, hubby and daughter were talking about Mother's Day and daughter uh -huh. turned to me and asked, so what do you want for Mother's Day? Awesome daughter. Before I could answer, hubby said, a new nightgown that fits. Nice. I was complaining last night that the one I was wearing is too big. My daughter responded with, but what size does mom wear now? I can't tell. She keeps losing weight. Okay, so hubby and daughter don't need to purchase any presents. That entire like exchange is the present, right? <laughs> like that is the greatest conversation that a mom would want to overhear, right? Yeah. That is that you're nailing it, girl. So we have one more. It's from Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Cindy said, want to say a huge thank you to Joe and Rachel Warren Stauffer for inspiring us to get back to camping. Yay. This was our latest trip last week to the Grand Canyon. Uh, Without Kita, we never would have thought we could take on such an adventure with a camper that we have to set up and take down, hike, and walk the many steps and some stairs to see a large part of the Grand Canyon and lift a 95-pound lab into a camper as he won't do steps. I feel your pain. We are also not youngsters. Most people our age have given up on being active. I will be 60 in July and my hubby will be 70 in December. Don't ever let age stop you. Wow. 
So Cindy, this, like you have put into a single post what our life mission is, and that is to help families start living their life to the fullest. No matter what age, no matter how long it's been, it is never too late to start living your life to the fullest That's right. as God intended for you to live it. Mm-hmm. Healthy, strong, enjoying your loved ones, having fun, and continuing to go on adventures. Because hey, 60 is just getting started. Now you have the time and the the relaxed attitude to be able to enjoy a family vacation, right? right? It's no more in the family minivan all stressed out as a young parent. You know, you're enjoying your life and your marriage. And I love that so much. That blesses our heart. It really does. Thank you for sharing it. Well, that is going to be this week's Keto on the Couch. Once again, I want to remind you, if you're interested in getting some perfect keto products, there is a link down below. Go ahead and use that. And you can use the code 2 Ketos to get a discount, which is a one-time per email coupon. Please, again, support the sponsors who support 2 Crazy Ketos. We greatly appreciate that. Now, if you do like seeing videos like this, there are 112 wow. other Keto on the Couches, which I'm going to link right down there. Here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time Joe dresses like a friar, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.